Hey everyone, and welcome to another Planet Zoo video. Yeah, it's been a while. Actually, it's been literally a week um, since the last video, and you can see there is something new to spot here in this week's Zookeeper update, which you can get as well if you haven't yet. Um, if you connect to the newsletter of Planet Zoo, and you'll get an update each week, each week, each week, um, with another little sneak peek of the game. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about main about this one um, which is the West Indian peafowl if I'm not completely wrong here um, it is really a bad photo to be honest it's really small um, which is due to the fact that it came with the uh, newsletter which is always this you know you try to keep it as as small as possible to make sure that the newsletter is sent properly to everyone connected uh, even if you're uh, on your way and in bad internet connection areas um, these email programs tend to boil them all down as much as as possible um, and you know for the sake of being in a newsletter it's totally fine but you know we guys want to go in and, and spot every single little detail which in fact uh, is also what I wanted to do over this video but um, you know the fact that I've been away for a few days um, be together with my friends and you know had a good time which was planned for a while now so I needed to skip a few things about YouTube and that's also um, why I came home a few days ago and then just needed to fix my room first and so a few videos have been already made about this uh, West Indian peafowl which looks gorgeous I think even though I'm not entirely sure about the feathers but this is you know all, always it's about screen screenshots and then this kind of bad quality screenshot um, I don't want to really rate the feathers quite yet because it's always a thing you have to see in motion um, and, and how the engine works with something like that so I'm, I'm not here to judge this but what I can judge on this image is the location of this West Indian peafowl so I think what I've got from, from some Reddit uh, threads and also uh, from some Discord chats, I, I saw that a lot of people um, were questioning if this one is an enclosure or not. And I can clearly say, at least I think from what I uh, will show you in a second, that this baby over here is definitely roaming free in the park. And to be honest, if you look at um, free... Uh, roaming animals in parks in general, uh, the West Indian peafowl is one of these animals you tend to see in nearly each and every zoo across the world um, where animals are in and you know they tend not to be in an enclosure. And now let me just show you why and I have to zoom out for this and go to this view over here. I have built this already in advance for you to not bother you with me painting around in this episode uh, too much because I want to keep that fairly short as a weekly update. I promised this to you. We're going to make a weekly update of uh, Planet Zoo stuff and uh, so here we go. This is uh, this week's uh, stuff and so I prepared that and as you can see um, this is the screenshot we got two weeks ago which a little bit of a more uh, in-depth overview of this entire area and uh, yeah as you can clearly tell from this image over here um, I just you know took some things to to make sure that we have some uh, info we can look at so first info is this building in the background which looks to be having a glass roof thing uh, some ornaments on the side here then we have a fountain over here and it's connected with some uh, hedges over here and if you can see that they seem to be roundish a little bit so it's not entirely uh, straight here. It might be a perspective thing, but it isn't. And then we do have these lampposts over here in the background. As you can see, we have these lampposts in the f uh, in these images over here. They are clearly directed in this direction as they are as well. So that makes totally sure, total sense if you see that that way, that way. And you can also see that this hedge over here contains a fountain in the middle and it contains this building with a glass roof so if we would be to look from this angle over here like really like in this area like that you can clearly tell that this is basically the view you have and since all of the screenshots we, we have seen by now have been taken in this park as we know so far from all the screenshots um, it's clearly obvious that this seems to be uh, m roaming around like completely free and which makes as I said total sense because why shouldn't you add an animal like that and um, pretend on this screenshot uh, to to make it you know they pretend it is roaming around free because as we can clearly tell here as well is there is pavement in the background and there is no gate or whatsoever it's just a hatch and then the hatch is just open here and the hatch just continues over here to the right hand side so you know that's pretty easily uh, open and it can roam around however what I found super interesting about this bit I mean you know you could clearly say now okay you know what it's roaming around that's nice that's super awesome but how will people interact 
with this West Indian peafowl, for example. I mean, it's not that kind of petting animal, but the thing is, um, as you can see in, in zoos, once there is an animal like that coming around, people stand around taking photos, you know, and, and going, going there, and you know, normally they're not allowed to feed them, but sometimes zookeepers are around to, to sh you know, to feed them to make sure that they, people can have a closer look to the animals. So I, I really wonder if this is kind of something that we can expect, because that would be super awesome, wouldn't it? I mean, let alone that this animal is roaming around free, and this can be a hint that we get some more animals that roam around uh, free. It's just super awesome. And this brings me to the second part of this video today. As I said, I'm not going to make it too long, but I just wanted quickly to talk about the current situation in uh, the animals we know, about the animals we know. So I have put all the animals we know so far in one screenshot. I hope I didn't forget one. Um, however, it's not about the animals that, you know, um, are existing already. So we know about a few more. I'm talking about these animals we have already seen in screenshots and we can already tell how they look in game and which kind of variant of the of the animal that is. So, you know, that's clearly what I could do here. I've checked a few things and I think I didn't miss one. Obviously, we have some different angles of the zebras as well. We have a different angle of the lion, of the grizzly and uh, also of the elephants and also of the hippos. So, you know, I know that, but I just wanted to have one of each in here. So we can tell from this image that um, next to the pretty obvious choice like zebra, the plain zebra, the lion, the elephant and the hippo, we have already some great additions in form of the um gray wolf and uh, the uh, tortoise and also the West Indian peafowl. And why I'm really pointing at these animals is that uh, this kind of gives already an idea of the approach that Frontier goes to, which I totally love to be honest. Uh, this is why I wanted to get that in. The, the, the good fact here is that these animals completely have different, um, s not even sizes, but also the way how you deal with them in a zoo is completely different. So a, a free roaming uh, West Indian peafowl needs definitely different tra treatment like a lion, which is definitely in a very secure environment and very secure enclosure, which is... Um, also changing the way how zookeepers need to approach these animals. So just imagine you have a zookeeper in a certain roaster where he's roaming around and caring for animals. If the peafowl would move then in another roaster, someone else has to care about that one. So, you know, and I don't even know if they would do anything with the guests or the, if they want to disturb the guests or if they even poo on the on the pathway. I don't know. And then you need janitors to get away with the poo. And if you have too many peafowls wandering around, your whole pavement is full of poo. I don't know. Do they even poo? <laughs> Just, I guess so. But you know, it's a bird. I don't know. It is it, it's kind of a, is it, it's a bird, right? It's it's kind of a bird. I don't know. Um, you know, I could lean myself a little bit too wide out of the window here uh, if I talk too much about that. But I'm pretty sure it's kind of in the family of birds. So yeah, it's definitely having the, the worst kind of poo here. Anyways, um, I just wanted to let you know with this little uh, overview that I think it's really important to, to mention already that the choice of animals is really great. So very small animals, free roaming animals, slow animals, quick animals, um, lethal animals, if you will, with the wolf and the lion. Um, we have these very fuzzy animals with uh, the uh, grizzly and we have this very strong hippo, which um, by the way, can't swim. And I have to say that because there was a huge discussion in my last video and uh, I, I did everything I could to find out if hippos can swim or not. And in the end, it really, I think the, the common understanding is that they can just float for a very long time that they just can't swim. Um, so they sink down because they're too heavy for, in terms of the um, uh, of their body shape and, and how they are built. Uh, they are heavier than the water is and so that's why they sink down so they just can't swim. Um, but since they push themselves from stone to stone or obstacle to obstacle uh, and that in a kind of very quick speed, uh, this makes uh, up for the fact that they can't swim but it seems to. So yeah, that's me uh, clarifying my little mistake from the last video. Anyhow, I uh, think that's it about today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments down below what you think about the West Indian peafowl and hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to comment down below whatever you want to see, whatever you want to expect from Planet Zoo and let me know how you liked that video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button as always and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Gonna build a mountain from a little hill.
Gonna build a mountain. I hope I will. Gonna build a mountain. Gonna build it hard. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I only know I'm gonna try.